Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the printer error code 0x00006BA. Operation could not be completed. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the start menu and type in troubleshoot. The best match should say troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Go ahead and select additional troubleshooters on the right panel here. And then you want to locate printer, find and fix problems with printing, and then select run the troubleshooter. And then it's going to ask you which printer you want to troubleshoot. Follow along with the on-screen directions based on your printer information and what specifically is wrong with it. And then apply whatever fixes it recommends. Also, try and turn the printer off and on again as well as restarting your computer. That's something I would also attempt here as well in addition to this step. And then close it here. Restart your computer like I said and see if that resolves the problem. Another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the start menu. Type in services. Best result should go back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the print spooler service. So just scroll down here. And you want to again locate print spooler. Double click on it. Set startup type to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to select the start option to get it running again. And then select apply and OK to save the change. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the start menu. I will have a file path in the description of the video. I will have a link to it, or not a link to it, I'll have the text in the description of the video. Just paste it into the search bar here. So it's percent sign WINDIR and it ends with printers. Just go ahead and open that up. It opens up a file folder here. And you will need administrator permission to access the folder. So just click on continue. You should be using an administrator account. And if you have any items in here, just highlight over all of them and right click and delete. Or you could use your delete shortcut on your keyboard, whichever you know you guys prefer. In addition to that, restart your computer once that's done. Definitely restart your printer. Hopefully that's resolved the problem. Check for Windows updates too. That's something else you can try on top of everything else. And again, hopefully I should be able to fix it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.